Hey folks, Matthew Weiss here, WeissAdvice.com and Weiss Advice here on YouTube. In this video, I want to talk about front-to-back imaging. Yes, I am wearing a bathrobe. Listen, it's cold. Judge me if you must. Anyway, we're going to be talking about front-to-back imaging, and not just in the very simple prescriptive way of saying, hey, if you want something really close to the front of the soundstage, have very little reverb, and if you want something very far, have a lot of reverb. Okay, yes, that's true, but there's a little bit more to it than that, and there's some really interesting techniques that go along with it. So let's pop on into this record here. The artist is Elliot Asabmo produced and top-lined and performed and did a fantastic job. Oh my god, is that safe? <laughs> So, right now, this is kind of faders up. There's nothing on the actual channels here. It's not completely faders up. I have some reverbs and stuff in there, but it's basically dry. The main thing that's problematic with the way this mix currently sounds is that the imaging is a mess. If I can set better levels and set a better front-to-back image, it's going to improve this by miles and miles and miles. So with that said, let's start going through the process of figuring out how to put together a solid front-to-back image. So I'm going to mute everything down in terms of the instrumentals. And let's also mute up the harmonies and all that kind of stuff. Let's go just to the vocal real quick. Yeah, let's get all this stuff out here. Okay. So now we're just on the vocal. A girl I used to see. Hey. So that's just to let you know. Love can be blind. I know be Dreezy Drake. Yeah. You see Kiki, she don't love me. Great. Okay, so the vocal sounds pretty good, but I would say right off the bat, one thing that's going to help create a compelling front-to-back image is assigning who's going to be our front-of-field players. And I think that the vocal is going to be very, very close to the front-of-field. Now, there might be a couple of percussion elements that might play to the front-of-field a little bit better, but I think if we can get the vocal really, really close sounding, that's going to be a good step. So, I'm going to first set a level. And so, our technique number one is just having the thing that need to be closer louder. It really doesn't have to be more complicated than that. Turning things up makes them seem closer. Making me lose my sight to the girl I used to see. Hey. So that's just to let you know love can be blind. So our next step is going to be definition. We can think of this kind of the same way we think of film and photography. Things that are very close are in focus. So if we can get this vocal to be really in focus, that's going to help. Now we're already at a good place. This sounds pretty good. You're making me lose my sight to the girl I used to see. Hey. So that's just to let you know love can be blind. We're going to tighten it up just a little bit, and our main tool for that is going to be EQ. When we want to pull something into focus, what we really want to do is get rid of anything that would disrupt our focus, anything that's blurry, anything that isn't really the vocal. So any kind of sub stuff, we're going to get rid of that. And there's also something in the low mid that you can kind of hear that sounds a little bit blurry. You're making me lose my sight. 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 Now we can also bring the upper mids into focus by taking that one little bit of pinch that's happening somewhere around like the 3 4 K. You're making me lose my sight. 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 You're making me lose. Taking that down, but then turning the overall upper mid up a little bit. You're making me lose my sight. You're making me lose my sight. You're making me lose my sight. Cool. So before? You're making me lose my sight. 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 Nice. We can also control that sibilance a little bit. 
and that will allow us to bring the top end into focus as well. You're making me lose my sight. You're making me lose my sight. You're making me lose my sight. You're yeah, so now we can... You're making me lose my sight. You're making me lose... Still a little bit of something funky. You're making me... Yeah, let's, uh, let's grab a little bit of this tone also. You're making me lose my sight. You're making me lose... And there we go. You're making me lose my sight. You're making me lose... Nice. You're making me lose my sight. To the girl I used to see. Hey. So that's just to let you know. Love can be blind. It's a very interesting thing going on in the top end. There's actually still one little weird kind of tone hanging out. You're making me lose my sight. You're making me lose my sight. To the girl I used to see. Hey. There we go. Cool. So now we are going to bring it into focus a little bit further, but this time we're not going to do it with definition. We're going to do it with another technique that carries over to the film and photo metaphor really well, and that is saturation. Things that are very color saturated tend to appear more forward to us than things that are a little bit more color deficient. So, uh, there are many, many different saturations that we can be picking from here. I'm going to go with Radiator. The reason I'm going to go with Radiator is because it has a sort of something that kind of fills in that lower mid, like that 300, 400 hertz. And because we were taking a little bit out of that in the vocal, uh, a little bit of that out in the vocal, that's what I was trying to say, uh, this will help kind of restore that a little bit. You're making me lose my sight to the girl I used to see. Hey. So I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to turn this input up 6 dB. You're making me lose my sight to the girl I used to see. Hey. So that's just to let you know love can be blind. I know be Dreezy Drake. It's not bad. Let's push a little bit more top end. Actually, let's push the top end at the radiator. You're making me lose my sight. To the girl I used to see. Hey. So that's just to let you know love can be blind. Nice. All right, so now we have something that's very forward. The next technique that we have to make something feel very far forward is contrast. If we can put something that's very far back, inherently it's going to make our forward sound sound more forward. So I'm going to go into my instruments here. I have a number of choices that I could go with. I've got all sorts of drums and guitars and things like that. Let's unmute this guitar and let's also make sure that where it's going is unmuted. Okay, that's good. You're making me lose my sight. All right, that's a bass. We don't want that. How about this? You're making me lose my sight to the girl I used to see. Hey. So that's just to let you know love can be blind. This is a kind of a driving element. I'm not a thousand percent sure I want that to be in the background. To the girl I used to see. Hey. So that's just to let you know. Perfect. We're going to use this guitar riff. So this guitar riff, we're going to want to do the opposite now. We're going to want to take away definition. We're going to want to push it to the back. So I'm going to grab an EQ. And I'm going to slur this up on purpose. So let's take away some of the upper mid. Girl, I used to see. Hey. So that's just to let you. Girl, I used to see. Hey. So that's just to let you know. Girl, I used to see. Hey. So that's just to let you know. Love can be blind. I know be Dreezy Drake. Yeah. You see, Kiki, she don't love me. So R.I.P. To my girl, she used to be. She's not. So I already really like this. We could put more reverb on there if we wanted to, just to make it feel like it was even further away. I don't think that that would be the worst idea in the world, but I don't think that where it's sitting now is particularly bad. So this is really good for giving us a far away bit of image. I'd say the other thing we could do is we could also kind of slur it up by taking away some of the transient energy. See, so that's just to let you There we go. See, hey. so that's just to let you know love can be blind. I know be Dreezy Drake. Yeah. 
So now I have a very far away element, and this is going to be really, really helpful in terms of trying to figure out where everything else wants to be placed in the mix. This will allow me to put reverb on the vocal without syncing it all the way back because we have something that's already further away. This is going to allow me to have things have sort of that out of speaker kind of forwardness. And there's a whole big middle plane that I can fit things into. This will allow me to organize things, not just in terms of frequency balance and tonality and things like that, but in terms of an actual front to back image, as if we were looking at a landscape or a picture or something like that. So let's go through some of these percussions and see if we can give something that out of speaker experience. Making me lose my sight to the girl I used to see. Making me lose my sight to the girl I used to see. So that's just to let you know. That's a good choice. Making me lose my sight to the girl I used to see. That per the percussion in that the kick is very forward. But the, the percussion in that sits really nicely midfield. Making me lose my sight. To the girl I used to see. So that's just Okay, let's go with this one. Making me lose. So here I'm going to do a little bit of transient work. I'm gonna go into Transify, which is multi-band. I'm gonna go way, way to the top of the frequency spectrum here. I'm going to articulate the transient to the point where it almost feels like over articulated. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to cut some of the sustain on the treble as well. Yeah, it feels weird. It feels like it's almost stepping out of the tweeter in kind of like a surreal way, which I think is kind of neat. Making me lose my sight to the girl I used to see. So that's just to let you know love can be blind. I know be Dreezy Drake. Yeah. You see? Nice. I love that. So now we have something where it's so crazy forward, it's almost out of the speaker. Something that's really forward, but kind of pressing up against like the actual two dimensional plane of where the speaker stops. And then something that feels like it's really, really far away. And now it's just a matter of fitting everything into those spaces in between. And from that, we can create an amazing mix. All right. If you dig this video, hit that like button. If you want to catch more videos like this, hit subscribe with the bell notification so you get notified. And lastly, you know what we say here at Weiss Advice. We are musicians. Sound is our instrument. And I will catch you next time.